In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I think is probably the coolest 3D printing project I have done to date. And I think you guys should do as well because it's literally very cheap, very time efficient, little to no post work, and an awesome effect. Without further ado, let's get into it. You might be asking yourself, what is that mess of stuff you just threw on there? Well, it's just two simple parts. You got this white hex leaf, and you have this gray looking outline of an hex. It's very cheap, okay? In materials, the gray parts, I don't even know if they get to 50 grams. So that took me maybe, well, it took me more than an hour and a half to print because of my print bed. Um, I'm able to fit actually surprising three of these on the bed, which was nice, but you have to do that over and over and over again, three times. Same thing with the hexes. They are the exact same size. They're just a little bit taller. Here's the nice part. Since these are printed flat like so, this part is super smooth. And you can see how shiny it is right there in that corner right now. I have done no sanding at all, and I will not have to sand a single one of these anywhere at all. The only thing that I'm gonna have to do is make sure to get these supports popped out of these holes to get this whole project constructed for the amazing end result. Hold on, I promise you it's gonna be worth the wait. All right, so you guys saw me uh, creating this mess of junk. It took you guys 30 seconds to see that. For me, it took about two and a half minutes, so it's not very time consuming. We just wanted to make sure all these holes are punctured through. The supports are gone. You saw I didn't need any tools except for my fingers. Very easy to do. Now, what we're printing is called a nano leaf, okay? Kind of a knockoff one. It's hex shape instead um, these parts are going to go together uh, and if positioned correctly and then on top of them we're going to add these nice little gray outlines to give them a little bit of a element and add uh, which is nice because you don't have to do paints you just need to have two different filament colors and these could be any color obviously I just went with gray and what we're gonna use is an LED strip that I bought for like 12 bucks, I think, if that. So at this point, all in all, this has taken me about 12 hours of printing the normal head shapes, probably hour and a half of printing the uh, gray little outlines. Uh, when we're talking about actual filament use, I had like a third of a kilogram of white filament left and it was enough for nine of those. Gray ones, um, I think it was 70 grams maybe, if that, I, I don't even think it was that much. So very, very time effective and cost effective at this point. So if you calculate it, add it all together, a third of a roll, so that's a third of, that's like four bucks, five bucks maybe in materials, plus the roll of LED lights, which is probably the most expensive part, it's $12. You're going know, about $16 for this, uh, about nine hex leaves. Just for comparison, the nano leaf, yeah, it retails for around $150. And its size is not much different. The There's one feature that you'll miss. There's only one, and I'll be honest with you, and you'll see it at the end result. It is uh, the kind of different colors between the hex panels. Since I'm using one LED roll, it's going to be the same color consistently. The nano leaves, it's going to be different on each shape. For over hundreds of dollars of savings, I think it's worth it. We'll see. Now it's time for a little bit of gluing. Before I get into the gluing part, I did want to mention, of course, the link is down below. It's a free Thingiverse model. Uh, absolutely great. It comes with these three objects. So you got the hex, the, this side, and a clip. This is what the clip looks like. What it's supposed to do is it's supposed to clip these two parts on the walls outlined uh, like so. And, and it's not that it doesn't clip them together. But you, what you will see is it doesn't have much structural integrity, okay? I mean, it flies off really easy, it bends in, and the, the, the comments there recommend you just use glue to get these together. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna be gluing all of this. There is a pattern online that I'm going to follow, and I suggest you guys do as well. 
uh, so that you have these holes correctly aligned and have the uh, strip lights go through it completely the correct way. So here we go. So there we are, all of our uh, hex leaves have everything done except for being connected together. That took me about uh, 10 minutes, maybe 11. So again, that's just about all the post work we need. Now we just gotta assemble it and that's not gonna take too much long. So here we go. So this is a very important part when you're doing this project. Make sure when you line your things up before you connect them that all the holes are done in such a way where you have a line going in from inside all the way on one side throughout the whole thing, right? One side. And then it's going to go all the way back through throughout the whole thing on the other side for the LED strip, strip all the way out. Got to make sure you got those aligned. There's one, uh, it should be really easy to follow that picture there. And so now I'm just gonna going to super glue and connect all these parts and then we'll see the final effect. All right, so here's the final result. I'm kind of unsatisfied with it. Oh man, oh, that camera really. <laughs> There's two things going on here. First of all, my camera is really focusing on those LED strips instead of the general panel. Um, I think this panel is probably the best example and if I kind of cover up the lens. Uh, part of why this is not glowing up like it's supposed to be, half of my LED strip of the video tore off right there and so it's, it's, not, it's not lighting half the panels over there. So I went on Amazon, ordered another one. The other part that I can do to improve this uh, is making sure to stick inside along those walls, the perimeter, and you see this panel has it and it gives it a much better effect. Um, but you see that reflection going on where you don't want to see it for the perfect halo little effect looking thing. Um, to which I've read up on and I can improve and I'll be working on in the future is uh, adding aluminum foil actually on the edges will give you a little bit of a better effect because it'll kind of probably reflect and capture that light inside. So, but here you are guys. I, I don't hate this project for what effort it took. And even though my LED strip broke on me during the end of the project, uh, this this is pretty cool. So you'll be seeing that uh, back actually against the wall right here. Uh, hopefully my future videos once I get this room a little bit better set up for a studio. And it'll be pretty nice a little effect, uh, make this channel look a little bit more professional, right? And uh, the thing is, uh, I wasn't sure how am I gonna connect this to the wall. And what I recommend you guys to look into, and I'm probably going to do, and to get this project fully complete on the wall using command strips. Uh, they're really easy to get, they're fairly affordable. Uh, they stick on your wall and uh, I could easily attach those to those hexo leaves, put them wherever I need to and I'll have a done project. So we need some supplies to get it fully, fully where I want it to be with aluminum foil and a new LED strip, but I am very happy where it's at. That's a pretty cool project can do. Again, the link is down below in the Thingiverse file. It literally takes not even half a roll of filament and $12 LED lights that hopefully don't break on you during the project. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for some more fun projects and I'll see you guys in the next one.